Hi guys, my name is Natalie and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought about doing like a Q&A for you guys to get to know me. So I have a few questions written down on my phone that I thought about just going through with you guys. Or actually, let me just go through the basic. My name is Natalie, like I said earlier. <laughs> I'm 24 years old and I'm from Norway, but I live in the UK currently. When's your birthday? Well, my birthday is 28th of June 1995 and I'm a Cancer. How tall am I? I'm 160 centimeters. I have no idea what that is in feet, so please do not ask me. <laughs> but a fun fact about that is that I'm actually the minimum requirement to become a cabin crew, at least for the airline I'm working for. And a couple of other airlines I do know in Norway as well, it's 160. So I'm just in a minimum. How do you cope with all the traveling that comes along with being a flight attendant? Um, I don't really think that I'm the best person to be asking because I do not cope very well with it. I get very, very travel sick. And the only way that I cope with it is that I get a lot of sleep and I eat a lot of food. So at work, I just constantly eat. And for some reason, that keeps my sickness at bay. And um, yeah, everyone at work just knows me for a girl that constantly eats. Where is home for you? Home for me is Norway. My second home I would definitely see it as France because I spent a couple of years there. And my third home probably Thailand because I have family there. And I do feel Canada is pretty close to Thailand. And I guess the UK comes after that because yeah, that's where I live right now. Do you have any tattoos? I do not have any tattoos. And I'm very happy I do not for the reason of I'm so indecisive, so I'm very happy I do not have a tattoo, but I think they look great on other people, just not on me. Did you ever want a tattoo? This is a funny story. So yeah, I did want a tattoo and wait for it. You guys will be shocked, but I wanted a tattoo of Eminem, not his face. I wanted like his um, nickname, like Slim Shady on the back of my arm. And in like graffiti kind of writing, like black and white, like bold letters. I have no idea what I was thinking. Like I even got one of my friends that she's very artistic. She wrote it in like a tattoo kind of eyeliner on my wrist to just like get a picture of how it would look like. And I was just like, wow, I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> like now when I'm looking back at it, I'm like, it wasn't even that long ago. And what was I even thinking? So going back to being really indecisive that is me like I, you know if i went through with all my ridiculous tattoo ideas i yeah i would not people would not take me seriously no offense to people that do have a slim shady tattoo or look very bald and all that but it just reflect me as a person i think like a tattoo a lot of the times reflect you as who you are and what you stand for and your values and meanings and that's why a lot of people have tattoos of family or friends or pets or whatever but Eminem's ego on my arm wasn't really reflecting me as a person so I'm very happy I did not go for that. <laughs> why did you make yourself a YouTube channel? This is interesting well I've been like on and off making YouTube channels but I haven't like been promoting it or anything but for some reason friends and family found it anyway. Uh, the reason why I made myself a YouTube channel was mostly for the reason of like I've always liked to be creative and uh, I study media and communication and I thought like along with that like I got really into editing. Not that I'm saying I'm any good at it but that's why I really like the whole making it and then editing it after so that's why i made myself a youtube channel i don't have an end goal out of this but i think the community that comes along with youtube is great and i love other people that does it and i feel like with that just that we can already bond over something that's so broad if that makes sense yeah what will your youtube channel be about one person once asked me that question not long ago. I said once, like it's forever ago, but not long ago. And I said, it's more like a diary. Like, whatever I'll be writing in my diary is what I will be putting out on YouTube. Like, it just whatever falls into my mind. Uh, I don't want to stick to a certain category. If you look at my older videos, I have like a unboxing video of 
a MacBook. I have no idea what I'm really talking about, but I mean, I thought it was fun to film it and you know. <laughs> so that's, that's probably what I would be doing, whatever makes me happy. Where will inspiration come from? I think the inspiration will come from me like whatever makes me happy like i mentioned earlier but definitely the youtube community is so broad and it's just so much fun videos that like goes around that i would probably find inspiration from that like i would like to do what's in my purse video i would like to do some vlogging i would like to do some tips and tricks and hacks like i would find inspiration from other people as well as my own so i would do like a whole mixture of it yeah what camera do you use? So right now the camera I'm using to film is a Canon Rebel T4i and uh, it's a bit of a like, bulkier camera so I don't really carry it much out with me and uh, like on my Instagram I usually use my phone which is the iPhone 11 Pro I think it's called, like the bigger one version, I, I don't know what it's called, but yeah I have that and uh, when I would do vlogging and stuff, I have another Canon. I think it's a Canon Power Shot. I will write it down here, but that's the name of it. <laughs> Favorite perfume at the moment? It's the Coco Chanel Noir, like the black one. I just love the smell of that, so that's my go-to perfume right now. What are you looking forward to this year? This year, so far, has not been that great. Uh, as you all can tell, but I'm looking forward to, I have a lot of plans ahead, like I want to move, that's one of the plans, I want to change my life, uh, I wouldn't say for the better, because I'm very thankful and happy about my life right now, but I think changes are always good, and changes are necessary, and I'm just excited for that, yeah, and also to see my friends and family in the summer, hopefully. What's my favorite flower? For some reason, like, my favorite flower is sunflowers. They just make me very happy. They're, yeah, that, those are my absolute favorite ones. Um, at a good second place, I would say it's roses, particularly red roses. I love red roses. And I do really like tulips as well, but I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites. Uh, lately, my boyfriend has been giving me some lilies and I love them when they like blossom. They look beautiful. What's your thoughts about marriage? Uh, a lot of people have been asking me that lately and uh, I don't know if it's because I'm the age for it, like I'm 24 turning 25 or is it because a lot of my friends are getting married, I don't know. But my thoughts about marriage, marriage <laughs> personally, I it's something I value a lot, uh, it's something I do want to get or be in the future. Uh, yeah, that's my thought about it. Do you want to have children in the future? Yes, I want to have lots of children in the future. What Disney princess do you think reflects the person you are? I don't really know, but like if I'm gonna take like my favorite Disney princess movies was like Beauty and the Beast and Mulan. Both like Mulan and Belle, I felt like they sacrificed themselves for their families. Like Mulan went to war for her dad and Belle went to the castle of, of capture like in an exchange for her dad to be free. I think that, that speaks a lot about like family values in a way of like that's something I would do for my family. And I love that Mulan was just so independent and was able to do whatever she set her mind to do and like all those things that, you know, like a lot of Disney movies are about like waiting for the prince to save them from a situation but Mulan was very different that she was the one saving her family from a situation and rather than waiting to be saved if that makes sense and with Belle I think definitely that I loved the way that she could look beyond the beast's look and like fall in love with his personality I thought that was beautiful and uh, I don't know maybe maybe those two in a mix how do you deal with the fear and worries that might hold you back? I think this is a hard one because I do struggle with that like everyone else. Um, it is the fear of failing, it's the fear of what other people would think, it's the fear of what I myself think. And I think the best way that I've learned to overcome those fears are to do it anyway because the fear of not doing it is greater than a fear of failing. I think that's a quote but it's so true like I think like I mentioned earlier like changes are good 
regardlessly like it teaches you something and it makes you stronger in a way and you know you live and you learn yeah last question what people do you surround yourself with i think i'll come to an age i speak like i'm very old but i'm 24 <laughs> i appreciate having close good friends that i see as my best friends i know that some people like you can't just have one best friend but i don't believe that i believe that i can have more than one because there is so many people i value and it's so many people that i cherish and it's so many people i would say i look up to and i like to surround myself with positivity people that makes me better i want to surround myself with people that wants me to succeed people that like see my failures and still accept me as the person I am and that are not scared of telling me I'm wrong and to see that them themselves are wrong. I like to surround myself with good-hearted, nice people that makes me better and I can somehow inspire them in some kind of aspects in life. So yeah, those are the people that I now surround myself with. Guys, that was it for my Q&A. I hope it was interesting for some of you guys and uh, know that me putting this out there, it is a bit like nerve-wracking and it is new and it is exciting and I just want to say that I am very thankful for you guys that have been watching this video until the very end and if you did like it, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you might like and I'll see you guys soon. Mwah! How do I look? Fine? Mm. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I don't even know why. Like literally I'm sitting by myself in this room. It's no one here and I still feel nervous. I don't even know how to do this interesting. thing. Oh. Oh, but if it was a bit like here, would it? Like here. But I'm a bit here. I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs>